A Sanich senior who was a world champion powerlifter and broke down barriers as a blind athlete is now advocating for others and fighting against discrimination. Here's Tess. Graham McCreeth is in his late 70s and he's still pumping iron. I've done sport all my life. Graham's blind, but he hasn't let that stop him from competing in cross-country skiing, swimming, running, and even gymnastics. But powerlifting is where he really excelled. We had a teacher came when I was 13 to, to our school, and he said, weights are the things for blind people because you don't have to see to do them, and he was right. So I started training when I was really young. 91, yeah, that, that was in kitchen. And that training paid off. Graham topped the podium at two world championships for the blind, in addition to being a provincial and national powerlifting champion in mainstream competition. I always wanted to be treated as somebody just as an ordinary athlete in open competition. And that's what was great about it. I think Graham's amazing. I mean, if you take his life story, he's overcome adversity uh, with the blindness and to go on and qualify as a physiotherapist and all the sports that he's done is really amazing. When Graham was still competing in long distance runs and half marathons, Andrew was his volunteer running guide. And I found that inspirational as well. And I don't even see him as having a disability at all, really. In fact, occasionally I forget that he can't see, which can be a bit of a problem when you're trying to avoid trees in the trail and things like that. And really, th things were better 50 years ago. After retiring from his job as a physiotherapist, Graham turned to advocacy, writing a book called The Politics of Blindness and Fighting Against Discrimination. I see so many situations where blind people just don't get the chance to do things and the, the, the discrimination is actually worsening. Safety concerns at bike lane bus stops where blind people have to cross bike lanes to get to the stop is just one of the issues Graham's taken on. And he's filed several human rights complaints, including one to ensure taxis don't refuse service to people with guide dogs after a taxi left him stranded. If you, you don't fit in, you're excluded. And the big, most important thing that I've ever found is to be included and it makes such a difference to your life and you have things to offer but if you're actually you can't do that graham just hopes that by speaking out and advocating for others it will result in positive change vital people brought to you by the victoria foundation connecting people who care with causes that matter